Hey guys, it's Falodal Freight 66 here, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today I'm going to go through days 8 through 12 of my journeys on my island called Wootopia. There's a lot of big stuff that happens during these four days, but there's also some shenanigans near the end. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 11 2 a.m. This happy Friday. As I mentioned yesterday, resident services are closed today due to construction. I realize this may be a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise the island will be better for it. You'll see. As I can imagine, I'll have my pulse for today with the resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day, everyone. So yeah, my day is pretty much cut in half because resident services is pretty much closed. I can't really access my bank account no matter how many times Tommy calls me that there is more money in there, which I'm very proud of. Nonetheless, my day starts off with a nice good check with the mailbox, like always, but there's not that much stuff in there either. Just my Nook shopping package and a Dodo Airlines letter with some merch inside. And that merch turns out to be a eye mask. I wish it was a face mask, but at least I get to sleep better. After getting ready inside my house, I check my mailbox again to see that all of my villagers have responded to me via letters. They're way too nice. Nonetheless, three of them sent me gifts, so I'm pretty excited to see what they are. The first present came from Renee, which was a jester's mask. Apparently, she wants me to be a literal joke. Very funny, Floda. Nonetheless, the second present came from Deli, which he gave me an exit sign. And Rhonda gave me a noble coat, which is honestly pretty stylish. These are some pretty whack gifts. While going throughout my day, I decided to check on all the villagers on my island. I first stopped by Agent S, which she was working on a log bed. She gave me the DIY recipe for it, which is pretty nice. It's really important to talk to them in order to get free stuff. Speaking of free stuff, Rhonda is officially done packing today, and she gave me her welcoming gift by, well, joining the community on the island. She gave me a desk mirror, which is uh, very interesting, but I'll definitely actually put it on a desk when I get one. Next up, I walked across the shore and collected a message in a bottle that washed up. This message in a bottle came from Raymond, who struck DIY gold, apparently. Inside, it contained a DIY recipe for an ironwood bed. I'm getting some pretty weird items today. After that, I decided to scroll the other beach to see what it had in store, and it had a lost item. This is my first ever lost item quest for the island. I'm very curious who lost this book. I decided to go to Rudy's house because he was the closest to the western side of the island. Unfortunately, he said no because, well, he's not that clumsy of a cat. But he did tell me that it was something of Renee's possession. So I decided to track her down. And indeed, it was her lost book. Of course it was Renee. She's a very clumsy rhino. She causes a big stampede. But nonetheless, she gives me a park address as a reward. Pretty bored just strolling around, I decided to check my phone and go on the design app to, well, make my own design. I was going to make some sort of sun pattern at first with some really hot colors, but it just didn't turn out to be that fitting. I decided to change the palette, and I decided to go with some cooler colors instead that matched the water. This design looks pretty nice as a shirt, especially on the back, though there's a little bit too much green on the front. The last step of the day was to look at Rhonda's house in the inside, and honestly, it's the best interior decorating out of all the villagers, including mine. The last major thing that happened during the day, or well, let's say night, is that Wisp decided to pop up on my island again. After completing his spirit task, I decided to click on something expensive, and he gave me a foosball table out of it. Not bad. Now on to day number nine. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook, it's 10.54am this happy Saturday. Now then, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. 
As stated in a previous broadcast, today we're completing construction of the Resident Services Building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone in our island staff. Come on over. Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the resident services staff here on Mutopia. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel is previously the resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here. Hmm? I've got more to share. The building isn't the only thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Normally, the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location, but keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone, yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all my announcements for today, except for one final thing. This was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for island news. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates for you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes, there you have it. New building, new island staff, we are growing, growing, growing. Finding out what's new at resident services is as easy as stopping by and acquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new resident services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to help you whenever you need us. Mmm, the new fresh Mutopian air! Interrupted by a phone call. Of course, Tommy's gonna actually tell us that we got so much more money in the bank, which is actually pretty helpful. But nonetheless, there's something even more interesting. Do you hear it? The new hourly music. We finally get hourly music! No more stupid guitar! And also, we got something from Nook Miles, and that's it. But still! New hourly music, and a free Nook Miles ticket. As soon as I saw Mabel on the title screen, I knew that I had to buy more clothes from her makeshift shop. Hopefully, me convincing her by literally giving her bells will hopefully give her the opportunity to build a tailor shop on my island, because it would be pretty cool to see how much clothes she really has. Walking into Town Hall, Tom Nook decided to give me a little chat. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Or did I say tent? Of course I meant building and we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Florida, right? Mr. Nucker told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job, and I'm already smitten with my own life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. And though you have it, Isabel, and I will split up duties here to better suit you, broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help with your general blah 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 blah. We get it, Tom Nook. Basically, Tom Nook controls all the construction, and Isabel controls all the villager and just other necessities that we really need. Nonetheless, I walk up to the counter and see what Tom Nook had in store because he really wanted me to chat with him. And chatting means more tutorial stuff. We get it, Tom Nook. You build the bridges, you build the inclines, you move the buildings, all with a small, small price of your soul. Just kidding. It's just bells, but still. Anyways, he did ask for my help, and he was pretty eager that I was able to listen to him on it. He really wants something big to happen on the island. And he really wants it to be a big, bustling community, and he wants me to help him celebrate. Or, well, celebrate his big, ginormous plans. His goal is to make K.K. Slider come and visit Utopia and do a concert. This whole entire time, this whole entire deserted getaway package was just a capitalist raccoon wanting a white dog to play guitar in front of a brick building. That's the literal approach, but I love that idea, Tom Nook. Give me more. I decide to talk to Tom Nook again, and he's pretty pumped about this project known as Project K. He divides it into three different stages, the first stage being that we have to invite more villagers to the island, the second stage being about improving our island image, and lastly, the actual KK concert. 
This dude is such a fan nerd. I'm a fan nerd of dogs too, especially when they hold a guitar. But nonetheless, in order to tackle down the first stage the fastest, Tom Nook gives us a campsite DIY recipe, which is definitely going to help us get more villagers into the island relatively quickly. After his long big speech, longer than Blather's big speech, I decided to craft the campsite construction kit right away because I already had the materials in my inventory. That's pretty fast. While still in the resident services, I decided to check on the Nook Stop Terminal. They apologized for being shut down yesterday and they gave me free miles and a free 7 plus day streak tomorrow, which is pretty nice. Just like any normal day of shopping, I decided to check out what KK Slider music was in store, and it turned out to be two days ago, which I later bought. I also decided to see what was in store for redeeming Nook Miles, and there was a lot of stuff, from DIY recipes to big items. I decided to buy the Robot Hero DIY recipe because I knew from watching more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos that this is probably the most expensive recipe to kit in the game. Not actually buying it from the terminal, but actually getting the Robot Hero, so that's going to be a big task. After getting distracted by capitalism, I decided to check on what Isabel had in store. She has the little minor things like changing the island flag and tune, but it's definitely going to make Mootopia Mootopia. First off, I decide to change my tune. And yes, this town tune is completely composed by me. What else would it be? I also decided to change the flag of Mootopia as well, and... Yeah, Mootu's face is definitely making Isabel starstruck. But nonetheless, she loves it, and it captures the essence of Mootopia very well. After leaving, I decided to go on a stroll, a very quick stroll, because Rudy decided to run up to me, and seems pretty stressed. He thought I was being followed by a piece of paper, which is a little bit weird, but no! It's Reaction Rudy, teaching me how to be stressed. Good job, Rudy. You are preparing me for the future of more capitalism. With this, I also decided to check on all the other islanders as well. Deli gave me a free DIY recipe for some doll that I don't even know what the name is. But nonetheless, it's a free DIY recipe, and I'll gladly accept it. After that, I decided to set up the campsite in a relatively nice location. It's the western cliffs along the western beach, which I think will really make the tourists happy. Of course, I had to pick up the weeds first. Speaking of nice beach views, I decided to open up a message in a bottle, which came from Mott. His DIY recipe was a doghouse, which is pretty interesting because you also craft a dog. Getting ready for the ceremony that I'm going to have next, I decide to put down a silver mic that I got from Nook's Cranny right next to the chair. I think it'll be a nice podcast location. And here it is, the town hall ceremony. Thank you. 
After that, I got right back to business and decided to make a new incline so Rhonda didn't have to use black magic to get off the cliff. I decided to go with a white plank wall, but it didn't seem right, and I eventually picked a natural ramp instead. It's the cheapest option, and it'll definitely look nice and blend in with the already existing features. I decided to put the incline next to Agent S's house so it can reach Rhonda's property on the cliff relatively quickly. I also want to make another incline symmetrical on the other side of the river as well. And also my phone is ringing. Just Tom Nook telling me how to donate my whole entire wallet into a freaking gyroid. With improving island image in my mind, I decide to plant more fruit trees in the back of the town hall. I do want this area to become a park, and it'll definitely get the bells running in. Before the end of the day, I decided to buy a monster statue that looked like Godzilla, and I even got news from Mabel that she wanted to build a tailor shop along with her sister on this very island. It's pretty nice how everything is slowly growing. Nonetheless, I decided to put the tailor shop plot right next to the beach where Renee lives. And you might have saw that a new person has arrived on the island. A real life person. It's actually Deli, my in real life sister. So hopefully you'll see her around in some videos in the future. Later that night, I decided to pay off the incline debt in full, which is pretty impressive because I literally just placed down the plot that very day. So hopefully I'll be able to see the new built incline tomorrow. And now for day number 10. Good morning everyone! Right now on Mootopia, it's 10.54am on Sunday, March 29th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Starting today, Mootopia has its very own campsite! The campsite's a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Mootopia. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread that island charm. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nugget Resident Services. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. And now that's what you call a 10 out of 10 island broadcast because, man, Isabel is way better than Tom Nook ever was. Nonetheless, Timmy is just telling me that I have more bills in the bank account. Same old, same old business. I decided to check my mailbox and there's very few things in it today, but I did get a present from the Nook Mileage program, which is my monster statue that I ordered the day prior, as well as the Happy Hone Academy giving me a ranking on my home, which isn't that bad. I scored over 10,000 points, and they gave me a commemorative gift for it. The gift that they gave me was a nice golden pendant for celebrating my victory of getting 10,000 or more points on my score. Hopefully I get 15,000 points next week. With Godzilla being literally in my pocket, I decided to place it in between the plaza and my fence because I think it looks pretty cool and it's definitely going to bring some charm to the central part of the island. After that, I decided to go into the town hall to do some Nook shopping, but actually Tom Nook wanted to praise me on putting down the campsite in its nice location. Though, even though we don't have any villagers in it yet, he does say that I should weed the place a little bit because it's definitely not looking pretty. And with that, I decided to buy King KK. After that, I decided to go to Nook's Cranny to buy some more outdoor furniture items because I think it's time for the island to get a little bit of a modern makeover. If more tourists are going to be coming, I think there needs to be more furniture outside and more stuff for the villagers to actually look at. With it being a very early Sunday morning, Daisy May is finally able to sell turnips to me, which I missed last week because I slept in a little bit too much. Nonetheless, the stock market is pretty simple. You buy turnips, you go to Timmy and Tommy to see at what prices they're sold at, and potentially you can get more money out of it than what you've paid for. So this is kind of important, especially for big investments like house loans. It's definitely going to be important to gain more money pretty easily. With turnips being sold at a very low price of 99 bells per, I decide to buy 200 turnips for a total of 19,800 bells. As long as I'm able to gain at least 2,000 bells in profit, that's okay. 
because I'm gaining something in the long run and it is worth it. Yes, this is gambling in Animal Crossing in disguise. After buying some turnips, I decide to go to my new natural incline that I 100% donated to. And it looks like it's already been in good use because Agent S has used it. Before heading to the two ceremonies that I want to attend, Renee decided to give me her junky lantern that she first got when she moved onto the island. Thank you, Renee, for giving me your hand-me-down, even though you say that it's not. And now time to attend the campsite ceremony. And lastly, the incline ceremony. We are amazing! After those festivities, I decide to go straight back to construction work and buy a brick bridge. It's time for another bridge and I know exactly where to put it. Because there's a little tiny island inside of my island, I decide to put a brick bridge to link the mainland to it because I plan to put my house there and I want it to be easily accessible so I'm able to get to my house when I move it. With that being done, I decide to landscape a little bit. There's a lot of trees in the way while going to the neighborhood section of the island, and I figured it was time to clear some of it to make a nice, clean path. After getting a lot of money from selling random junk, I finally paid off my very expensive house loan. And y'all know what that means. Float is getting more selfish and wants his house to become even greater and bigger and grander. And good thing Tom Nook has an addition for that. He decided to give me another extension, including a new room for a low, low price of 548,000 bells. Also, it's kind of ironic how Toomey was complaining about he needed so much bells for making bridges. Like, I'm over here with a very expensive house loan and I have to pay off a whole entire bridge. Also, I changed my roof color to be black. Closing off the day, I decided to talk to my villagers, and I had some pretty interesting interactions today. One of which is from Agent S, which wanted me to exclaim to everyone else that she's not popular and that she's a virus. This irony. This irony. Also, I decided to talk to Renee, which she wanted to give me a reaction? You cannot be Reaction Renee. Rooney is Reaction Rooney, and it will stay that way. 
Nonetheless, I'm very happy that she gave me a new emotion to express, which is actually pretty negative. It's disagreement. Oh, oh no, 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 no. And now for day 11. Good evening, everyone. Right now, Mootopia, it's 7.28 p.m. on Monday, March 30th. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Mootopia such a special place. Also, the most wonderful thing happened to Mootopia today. The Able Sisters Tailoring Shop opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start our own Mootopia trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating at the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. And so the day, our uh, night begins. Yeah, this is my first time actually recording a full-fledged footage thingamabob at night. But nonetheless, Tommy says that I have plenty of more bells in my bank account. Opening up my mailbox, there is plenty of stuff in store. I got the Nook shopping package, which I ordered yesterday. The Happy Home Academy congratulating me on my new addition. And Agent S congratulating me on that achievement as well, which is pretty sweet. Oh, and more B-movie script from Pop-Tarts, of course. And with that, I got a punching bag. An exercise bike. A vest with binoculars. And a cardboard box. Looking at the new edition, it's relatively big, but I don't know what to do with it just yet. Putting in the KK song, it actually sounds something that Matilda the Lucky Cat would play in her shrine. Ugh. With my Animal Crossing routine done for the day, I decide to see who's the first ever villager to visit Mootopia in the campsite. I. Hate. Him. Hippo. You are disgusting. You are ugly. <coughs> you hurt my eyes. They are burning. After looking at an ugly hippo's face for a couple minutes, I decided to see the turnip prices available at Timmy and Tommy's. They were 116 bells per, which is more expensive than I got them for, which was 99 bells per. That means I'm going to be getting a little bit of a profit off of it, even though it's not much of a profit. But 23,200 bells in my pocket sounds pretty good to me, and it's definitely going to help me pay off my house loan. After checking out Nook's Cranny, I decide to check out the new store in town, Able Sisters Tailor Shop. I'm finally able to pick new outfits and customize even further with my character now that we actually have a dedicated space for clothes. Picking clothes from an ATM machine just doesn't cut it for me. At the back of the shop, I'm able to display my own custom designs for other villagers and other people to grab for themselves. And now it's time to do the largest shopping spree overhaul I've probably ever done in this game. Because there's a changing room inside of the shop, there are loads of clothes available daily that I'm able to buy. So if you see any new outfits, it's probably from this store. After shopping, I decide to go ahead and go into my new room and kind of customize it a little bit. I want to make it into a gaming room, and I want to make it revolve around the color blue, so this cute blue tile from Nook's Cranny is definitely going to make this room a lot more cuter, and look pretty cool at the same time. Going into Town Hall to access the Nook Shopping app on the ATM, Tom Nook discussed about new exterior decorating that I'm able to do on my house. I'm only able to do roof colors and mailbox colors and styles at the moment, but hopefully I'll be able to change the siding as well because it definitely doesn't fit the look that I want. And in Nook Shopping, I decide to buy the KK Song of the Day, Forest Life. And while redeeming Nook Miles, I decide to buy the Ultimate Pocket Stuffing Technique, which adds an extra row of inventory space to my already massive inventory. 
It might seem a little bit much to have four rows of inventory space, but in a game like Animal Crossing, inventory is key, and it's definitely going to help me with projects and storing stuff in the future. Roaming around the island talking to villagers, Rudy decided to give me a DIY recipe for a mountain standee. After that, Renee decided to talk to me about reactions. She actually wanted to teach me one, but she was kind of stopped until she realized that she's going to apologize and teach me the apologizing reaction. Are you trying to steal Reaction Rudy's job? And with even more shenanigans, Gulliver decided to wash up on the beach in the middle of the night. So I completed his quest, so hopefully something will come in the mail tomorrow morning. After going on some very uneventful island tours, I finally arrive on somewhat of a rare island consisting of bamboo. I have a lot of DIY recipes that need bamboo in order to be crafted, so I'm very excited to see that I'm finally able to harvest these resources. I also want to plant some bamboo on my island as well, just so I can have a nice supply of it. I decided to put the bamboo relatively close to the campsite, mainly because that area was a little bit bland and blended in with the rest of the island, so I really wanted the tourists to feel that they are part of an island community where it's nice and diverse throughout. Before I headed to the Able Sisters ceremony, I decided to pick up a message in a bottle on the beach. This message came from Pom Pom, who was lay relaxing while reading comics when she thought of this recipe, which turned out to be a leaf mask. So I can be a Korok now? And to end off the day, I went to the ceremony. And lastly, day number 12. Good evening, everyone! Right now, Mutopia, it's 8.24 p.m. on Tuesday, March 31st. Now for today's announcement. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Mutopia such a special place. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. After Isabel's amazing announcements, I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried about how the campsite works. A little bit more on that later, after I, you know, finish the call with Timmy. Opening up my mailbox, there are plenty of letters and packages inside. One from Gulliver, one from Nook Shopping, and the others from my best friends. The gifts that I got include an alpinist's hat from Gulliver, forest life from Nook Shopping, stones from Tuwumi, a utility sink, and a cardboard box from Pop-Tarts. After going ahead and doing my normal routine, I decided to check on all the villagers on Mutopia. One of which is Agent S, who gave me a DIY recipe for a shell bed, which I gladly received. After talking to all my villagers, I decided to shake one of my bell trees until I realized that Scammer Sahara was in town. This late at night. From her, I bought mysterious wallpaper, which turned out to be a tree-lined wall, a wallpaper that I already have. After doing some work around the island, I decided to go to the campsite, something in which I fear. 
There's something in my mind telling me that I have to make the first villager move into my island because there is no possible way that two different villagers on two separate days are going to use the campsite when it first launched. And yep, it's true. And with this, I take action. But of course, I have to do some shopping first. I went to the Nook Stop Terminal to redeem miles for a street lamp and buy KK Cruisin' and other items with real bells. Now let the hippo chaos begin. After smacking the tent for quite some time, I decide to talk to Hippo one last time. And it's indeed true. The capitalist Tom Nook is forcing me to make Hippo move into my town. Well, that's not happening yet. Torture must come first. Shenanigans aside, thank you so much for watching this Animal Crossing video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we're gonna have a rough ride with Hippo. Hopefully he moves out quickly when I get his house plot done anyway. Anyways, I gotta play some more Animal Crossing. I'll see you then. Bye bye <laughs>